Boom. Get closer. Hey, we're live. Hey, good morning. It's about 9, 12 on Sunday. And this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Not 5 a.m., but it's Sunday. And I wanted to finish a book. Anyway, and we're going to talk about that. Uh, it is episode, our 362nd episode. So I should put something out. I'm going to get up really early. I think I'm going to do a premiere thing for Wednesday. Thir- oh, go live on a 365 episode is going to be Wednesday, July 22nd. So um, maybe I'll post something up there for what we're going to do. Maybe we'll do some crazy stuff live. I kid. No, I can't do that. Anyway. Anyway, this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach, and I'm here to talk to you about Agile and Scrum in a practical and tactical way. Um, it is 9.13. I just got a phone call from the local electric company saying that they're going to turn the power off because I think they put in some bad, uh, oh, what do you call them, oh, transformers. They did a whole replacement. And we've been getting a couple of power outages, so I wonder if they put some bad transformers. So. Uh, again, 15 minutes. I got to get this done in 15 minutes before all the power goes out. Don't have access to YouTube and can't post. So we might talk a little fast, but bear with me. Um, so I finally finished my Fixing Your Scrum book, and that's kind of why I was late because I'm like, I want to get this done. So the idea I was going to get this done. So I finished reading all the chapters this week. It's a very good book. Maybe I'll do a, a, a review on it just to share some thoughts on it, what I wrote, like about it. Um, but I got some ideas from reading it, and I like reading books and then come up with things that I've seen. It reminds me of stuff that I've seen that might be good to share, that it might be have a slightly different twist. Either I agree with it, and I'll say, hey, this was a real good thing out of the book, uh, or I'll say I'll add one more thing to what they had to say or something like that. So anyway, so on that note, um, on page 169 of the book, talk about release dates, and they're talking about that. But I love this quote. Because I use it. Truth is, there will never be a time when your team isn't under pressure. It is so true. Um, A lot of times I say, we're always busy, right? That's why I try to work in in a – let me see. Is it going to go in the next one? But later on in the week, I'll kind of reference where that comes into play. But I always try to, as a coach, free up that – half hour if i can free up a half hour then i use that half hour to help them get back to improvement process i reinvest it just like money like if you make money you're starting to money you don't take money out of the business right away you reinvest it in the business so it'll grow it's the same thing with scrum and agile and any kind of change you want so they'll always tell you're busy they always have a release date they're too busy to do this when they do that it tells you things are bad right and you got to find a way as a scrum master and agile coach to help give them more time back. So that's what I wanted to say about that. When they always say they're busy, your first job is, okay, we got to find more time for you. I have one coachee that I'm helping out and we want to get to a place and we're having this conversation. This kind of wraps around. I just thought about this. And, uh, the person is trying to get better at scrum and get ready for job transition and things like that. And they're like, well, I can't even find a half hour. I'm like, well, if you can't find a half hour, we have to create you a half hour to learn and grow and study and prepare for your next adventure. Um, So part of the job as an agile coach sometimes is helping them find that half hour and pushing them to discover that half hour. Move things around. Practice your agile techniques, your scrum master, your facilitation, um, your coaching capability on yourself and find that half hour. You need it, right? So if anybody ever wants to grow and get a new job, whatever, you're going to spend at least a half hour a week. If you can't find, if you are so busy, and this is like for retros and and sprint reviews, if you're so busy that you can't find a half hour for retro, you need to find a half hour for retro. And you need to find out what things aren't as important, get rid of them or or not take on as much work, whatever, right? So they're always busy, but if they can't find a half hour, you have to work with the team to find that half hour, right? You have to do it. Just like personal growth. You have to find that. If you want to grow, get paid more money, you have to find that half hour every week to invest in that time to get there. That's my little coaching thing, right? So that was item one. And we are talking a little fast because it is 9.17. And again, they're going to turn off power in about 15 minutes. We'll see how accurate they are. Hopefully I'll get this in. Um, 
The other one, hardening sprints. I wrote hardening in the title. So it, he does talk about hardening sprints, and it's going back to another chapter where you don't have these and everything. I want to take a different take on it. Not that I'm for them. However, I'm for fixing it. So there's a lot of groups, a lot of big organizations that have security teams, throughput, bandwidth. They do all this extra hardening activities, integration testing, whatever it would be. And there are teams out there to develop these security tests and security protocols. Here's what I wrote. They should be crafted so when you are a security team and you're doing sprints, the right security software to test vulnerabilities and stuff like that, you should be crafted it so that every sprint out. So let's say you don't have all the security, new capability, brand new, it ain't in there. It's only going to be tested at the, the hardening sprint because it's not available yet. But you as a hardening team, a security team, a throughput, whatever, you do on the outside integration, you know, your jo job in the very next sprint that you introduce is, is how do we get this capability in the teams? Every time you come up with a new capability, a new test, the job of those group is I need to get it in the teams because that's how they test it and give a good definition of done so that these hardening sprints don't have to happen. Maybe you develop some code and you, pr pr you present it in one sprint so you can see how it looks for these vulnerabilities. The next sprint, how do we get it out into all the teams? So you need to design this stuff for team usage. So that's where my difference is on the Harding sprint. There is times when there are specialties that people have to do that other people don't have that are really skilled. They're, they're amazing, scary amazing. Um, but what they have to do is find ways to take that capability and push it down into the team so that they can run these scripts and everything in their dev environment. So, excuse me. In their dev environment, I'm petting the cat. Maybe I need more water. I'm talking too fast. Anyway, so you got to push it down, right? So, God. Sorry for the pause. I just need a drink of water because I do. I apologize for that on live live programming, but it is it. Um, it is hot here. Um, so they need to work on that so that it gets in the team's hands. That is where I say, yeah, you can never have a hardy friend. I'm fine if the team specialized. I'm fine as long as the output of these hardening sprints. Is the very next sprint anything you test in that hard sprint, or as that team is that you're developing ways to push that hardening activity into the um, sprint? So the idea being, let's see, draw this real quick because this would be a good this would be a good drawing. And one of the guys who uh, I love his videos, he talks about this a little bit, and. Um, where I really like it. So you have your sprint and your sprint, and maybe there's a hardening sprint. Right? Maybe there's a hardening sprint, sprint one, sprint two, sprint three. Okay. So maybe that's a hardening sprint. Maybe they do integration. Maybe they do security. Right. So maybe they have that. When you're done this sprint and you write this to do this testing, you need to get this stuff back into the, the earlier sprints. So whatever you come up with, your output goal needs to be there. If you're an individual team that does security team and you're a security team. You know. You need to write stories to push security code 
into teams. That's got to be your mission. If you work in an agile organization and that right there is not your mission from a security standpoint, then you're not agile. Your organization is not agile and you're not thinking about the well-being of your team. Because I'll tell you one thing. If you're just looking for a job security, it's not going to be worth it. Um, look at a lot of the DevOps stuff. They used to think that my job was about spinning up servers and getting that ready for people. Now the real DevOps teams write code to automatically write those servers, right? So that they don't have to do it. So they're writing code for new capability, trying out new stuff, doing new processors, doing new upgrades, testing that stuff out, validating the future. They're working in the future rather than the now. And you as security people have to work in the future. So as you work in the future, future and test this stuff out and check vulnerabilities, you need to then take all that and put it into the sprint. And that's what that has to be done. So any hardening activity, which I'm okay with, as long as the goal is to push all those hardening activities into the sprint wherever feasible, wherever possible. Okay? With that, I'm going to call it quits because it's 924, and any minute now, YouTube's going to go blank. So have a great Sunday. Enjoy your day. Keep up that reading. Look what's going on. Send me some feedback on uh, LinkedIn. I'll use my little phone. And as you can see, if you – with the little bell with the little double follow you'll get notice you subscribe you'll get notices that hey we were on live and posting up some stuff okay take care bye and stream and we'll see you later